mission statement for safari as a way of life. I want to see and do so many things. I want this road to end so that I can start. The only problem is, where do I start? Where do I Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? What's so funny? Okay. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> there we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Mission statement for safari as a way of life. To explore the unknown and the familiar, the distant and near, and to record in detail, with the eyes of a child, any evidence of beauty, of the flesh or, or otherwise, uh, horror, irony, traces of utopia or hell. Look for solutions, not problems. Now search for clean water in a swamp. Select your team with care, but when in doubt, take on some new crew and give them a chance. Avoid at all costs fluctuations of sincerity with your best people. <laughs> A Hitchhiker's Guide to Southern Africa. Up to town, down for local, Deep Sloop, Orange Grove, Josie, or just moving on. That's my sister. That's my sister. No, 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 no. Hey, Butch. Uh, you park in the back with my daughter. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like her, man. Oh, nice to meet you. I'll tell you what the answer is. Purely mathematical. Every white man has got to kill nine black guys. That's the solution. The, uh, the mathematical solution? Yeah. Going to Soweto, level it. Don't stop till Cairo. I mean, America killed the Indians, Australia killed the Aborigines. It's a point of national pride. I mean, anyone who tells you different is a bloody hypocrite. My first real Nazi. <laughs> hey, Ken. Here's a joker who wants to know if we can accommodate him for the night. <laughs> Come, but... Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> What were you charged with, sir? The usual. 3,000 volts. Would you like the light left on or off? Uh, on, please. We'll do some reading. Like me the book where I saw. Do unto others before they do unto you. That statement will be beaten into some of you. Hey, mom. Oh, it's so 
sweetheart. It's so wonderful. So wonderful. Oh, I am so sorry I can't stay tonight. Oh, no, what about the dinner? You know, that's more your father's crowd than mine. But I will make it up to you, I promise. Okay? Mm. Love you very much. Congratulations. Fantastic. She's living in the guest house. At least until she leaves for good. Where will she go? London? Far? She'll miss the special brownies. How special? Special enough to make you forget about her leaving for tonight. Uh, this is up north, near Tokana. And, um, yeah, these are some of my Samburu friends. And they, uh, they actually told me that they'd let me come back for their circumcision and shoot that. I thought maybe I could do that for the service. Um, that's my sister, Amy, yeah. and a cheetah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, some of the guys who work carving statues. Did you pose them? Just a bit. I mean, for, just for the light. Earlier predictions of a disaster are now a grim reality unless humanitarian relief efforts are stepped up. Well, some very nice images. Personal. Mm. Maybe more personal than journalistic. Well, what, uh, what about these? Um, yeah, this is... So this is Kippingett. She used to live in a boma, and the government moved them to this, this settlement and outlawed their traditional cattle raids. It's never a boring story. Only a boring correspondent. You came here looking for the dream job. I'm afraid I can't give it to you. I'll tell you what you want to do. You want to get out there in the real world, mm. where there's warm beer and smelly pussy. <laughs> Then bring me back some real stories. What did he say? He says we need a uh, smelly beer and warm pussy. Or was it the other way around? Food and medicine are in short supply, with great need for refugee support contributions. There's something should be done about that. So far, the response has been slow. Hey, G, it's Dan. I've been thinking about your talent for fleecing the defenseless and the gullible. Do you own a suit? Thank you very much. And you want to To support the Mozambique refugees. It's for a good cause, people. Amy, how do you say hello in Swedish? Mart is Norwegian, Dan. Hi, Mart, it's Dan. We're planning a trip, taking money to the refugees in Mozambique. Ali, it's Dan Eldon. Yeah, well, there are cheap flights. So, New York, London, Kenyan Airways to Nairobi, then three weeks of terrible roads through three countries. Right, Leila, big smile for Mozambique. 100 shillings right, for one t-shirt. It's 100 for one t-shirt, thank you very much. Right, who's next? Nice. Guys, it's 100 right. shillings for the plane and want? two for the custom, okay. including artist yeah. signature. It's all for a good cause, AG. Right, thanks, Dan. How do we know this is going straight into the Elton Tusker beer fund instead of the refugees? Because we'll be taking it personally. And that? That is a she. It's Desiree. So, how are you going to get to the camps? Uh, we're just going to aim in their general direction. Explore. Explore or get lost? Getting lost would mean we knew where we were heading in the first place. <laughs> Which we don't. I've convinced Marta to be navigator. Sure you have, man guy. Uh, Ellie is our cook, Agee's the videographer slash accountant, and Amy's our driver. Well, no, I'm not driving. And Amy's come up with a name, right, Mats? Desiree Sex Safaris? I think it was. <laughs> oh. We're gonna need a mechanic. Right, guys, dig deep <laughs> for Mozambique. All right, next. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> next. <laughs> Let's go. With the glasses. Didn't recognize you without the Coke bottle glasses. I can wear them for you if it helps. It would actually, yeah. How'd you learn to do that? Jane! 
，我借你，我借你。OK OK OK。你用什么子玻璃玻璃？玻璃玻璃，干嘛？干嘛？我只负责我多卡几单单呢？其实我们是卡西，卡西，呀？现在是啥？啊，苏黑的。那罗贝，呀？ Floor is yours. Where should we go? No way. I have to go home. Not again. No, I have a driver. You should come with us. Come with you where? On safari. To the camps. Not a chance. How can you say that? It's for a good cause. You don't know my father. Yeah, well, exactly. Like you know, Jackie, to call you. Mama, I'm a prisoner. Ah, hiya, Mama. He your contract. No, sit down. Dan, why don't you tell my father about your travels? Mm. Well, um, every school break I try and go somewhere. So, um, Moscow, New York, uh, Tokyo. Mm. And uh, your parents? Do they fund your adventures? No, no. I earn my own way. I spend nothing. I don't eat much. Mm. Actually, last year I was in India, selling jewellery and taking photographs. Dan has been to 46 countries. Yes, but India. Who in God's name would want to go to India? Terribly poor. Mm. You know, a bit like the slums here in Nairobi. You've been there, haven't you, sir? You tell me, young man, what you plan to do when you finish taking photos? I'm not planning to finish, sir. Actually, perhaps we could have a meeting, uh, discuss my ideas. Mm. Anyway, like I was saying, I do believe Robert Mugabe is an exceptional politician. <laughs> You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. I love the way you look. The way you talk, the way you are, your eyes, your shoes, your funny ear and your nose, your knees, your teeth. Saba, where is she? Saba, have you? You made a decision yet, darling? Pardon? Decision about university. Oh, yes. Cambridge Law, I think. Same as Daddy come September. That's my girl. That's impressive, my girl. Impressive. Ah, just awesome. like Daddy, awesome. she said. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> Benefit of an English education. <laughs> <laughs> Now, there are seven of you. Small to average size, African family. Now, you've just been forced to flee your homeland because of a disaster, not a natural disaster, but a man-made one, which has seen your country go down the tubes. You are a family of refugees, and this is all you're going to eat. On a good day.
cash in our sleeping bag? Yeah? Oh, uh, wait, yeah. Hey, guys, we yeah. raised 75,800 Kenyan shillings, so that's about $12,000. That's great. Good job, mm. everybody. Yeah. Wow. Um, I need more rope. What, your dad's big wet corporate kiss? Seventeen thousand dollars. Thanks for the lift, Dan. Have a good one. Take care, Peter. I'll see you soon. Yeah. It's Mozambique bus. Mozambique <laughs> bus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I'm going to oh, be sick. No, not again. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did you invite her, Dan? She can't hack the bush. She's all right. She'll be fine. Ah, oh, we're overheating again. Got some water ready. Ah, uh, right in the back. You know how many times can a human being puke in a single day? I mean, honestly, we should just leave her out here. You know, make a sacrifice of her. This is Africa. Rich, it's not that bad. Really, it could be worse. Whoa, whoa. One, two, three. Make oh. sure you steer. It's all right, Saba, don't worry about it. There we go! Oh. Sugar sweet lips. Mm. Magical lips. Just like I fantasized. <sighs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, stop! Is that okay? Sorry, uh, I thought you were liking it. You want to be screwed, huh? No, 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 wait, what? Now you're screwed. Parapotea, 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 parapotea. This rhythm is more common than any drum beat in Africa. Parapotea, 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 parapotea. In Swahili, parapotea means find one, lose one, because flip flops vanish just as frequently as the socks eaten by washing machines in Western culture. Oh, shit.
Where's my camera? Uh, uh, Where's the camera? Sure, sure. Take a photo, take a photo quick. No, I want to see what I'm thinking. He's a little bit crazy. Yeah, he is. That was beautiful, Mother. Have you brushed your teeth? No, Mother. I'm not your mother. Hello, the natives are friendly. It's customary. For some lucky dog, maybe. I'm going to go wash my mouth out. Take care of it. All right, so. Okay, cool. Oh, I've got this one.
Welcome to Malawi, guys. Hi. Here we go. And now, with a breaking news story, we go to African correspondent, Dr. Lengai Crows. This just in, Africa's new and horrific social health crisis. A more venomous, more dangerous, and more addictive drug known as Mbiwa is rearing its ratty head. Children are given small rats to begin with, and as the addiction grows, so does the price. Ghastly. Those who are selling the vermin are becoming millionaires overnight. A shocking story, Dr. Crows. It nearly made me choke on my shrimp salad. Our hopes and prayers are with you. We hope to see you back on English soil soon, son. Thank you so much. Let's just go back to Nairobi. No, let's see what's going on. What are you, man? Like a disaster tourist? We're in a war zone. That's impossible. We're still in Malawi. Mozambique's another 50K. Hey, hey, what boy? What are you doing there? Hey, man, I hey, said, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? I have to I'm not I'm not Camps beyond the checkpoint, follow the escort in the morning, make the donation, paperwork, and that's it. Uh, Dan? We want to leave now. We've talked about it, and we all agree. Who agrees? Rich, you want to come, right? Saba. Names? I don't think that you can decide for them. Or me. Okay. Um, question one. Hands up, all those who are expecting a vacation. Dan. Okay, question two. If your hand's not up, please tell me why you came in the first place. Dan, we all came for the right reasons, but there is a limit to what we can do here. If we all came for the right reasons and we've accomplished absolutely nothing, then question three, how can you quit? <gasps> Don't be such an asshole. It's too young for you, Rich. It's not okay, about telling you this because we then care about you. Let's just we calm down and listen. Please that we're don't do like this. If we're not safe, safe and lose you. Then four. Who thinks they can leave now when there's a curfew on the road? Or would you rather risk getting arrested and locked up eating barbecue rats?
Week three, waiting for the army escort through the Tet Corridor. Sniper fire. Bing, bing, bing. Rebel rocket. Boom, boom. En route to the refugees of a Marxist utopia. Why would the South African government fund the Mozambique rebels? Don't they have their own problems? Ah, that is the point, see? A war next door creates a diversion from their own problems over apartheid. Keeps it out of the headlines. Now we have one million people in Malawi with nothing to live on. set fire to his parents' house and they were burned to death. More come in every day. I'm getting reports of mass killings. Rape is common. Women and girls. Especially with the distances they have to walk to get water and firewood. How much is a well? About $1,500 to supply 5,000 people. That's it? Wow. Make, just make sure it's all here, Izzy. Yep. Um, is it 50s? H. Yeah, 50. 50, and here's 10s, yes. and all of it. Make a look at it. <laughs> there you go, 
food, medicine, blankets. Short term, please. It's beautiful, man. <laughs> nice one, man. What if what? Safari, man. Safari is a way of life. I'd love to come with you. So do it. Legs, we'll, we'll go to the end of Africa till there's no more Africa to conquer. I'd love to, but I can't. I'll get the school thing over with first. And then? And then... Sky's the limit. It's weird, I feel like this trip has just started. So, what are you saying? No, I was looking at the line on the map, it just kind of stops short. And what am I meant to tell them? Huh? What about mom's going away party? Yeah, I'll try and make it. What about money? What are you going to live on? Good looks and charm? I know you're totally right. I'm going to die of hunger. I am. Amy, I'm going to die. I need you to help me, Amy. <laughs> so what's next? A job, maybe? The princess. At work. Just for the rest of the year. <laughs> Not sure I know, to tell the truth. So I don't mean to, um... If I cross the line... It's OK. Very soon. Well, good morning, man. Very soon, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Very soon. I'm uh, thinking of trying to pull off a new well for them. It's brilliant. Goodbye until I see you again. How will you get to where you're going?
What's it about? The whites are voting to end apartheid. We're not. Who are you with? Associated Press? Ladies and gentlemen, today will be written up in our history as one of the most fundamental turning point days in the history of South Africa. Today, we have closed the book on apartheid and that chapter is finally closed. I'm phoning from South Africa. Yeah, put, just can you hey, put me through to Marty? How long have you been in Joburg? This time? A couple of days. I'm with Reuters. Yeah, I'll hold. Peterson's with Christian no, Science a Monitor. A Are you a photographer, man? Yeah. He's more free than freelance, is my impression. Hey, hey, Marty. Oh, Danny Marty. boy! The boy! Step five, second! Dad! That's Dad! How did you get started? Oh, well, uh, O'Reilly! A friend of mine was with yeah, the uh, Philadelphia hey, Inquirer. Uh, I went with him to El so. Salvador as a bag carrier. A bag carrier? Yeah, it's called learning on the job, interning. <laughs> low ceiling White slavery. I had that? no idea what I was getting into. Completely yeah, stupid. Yeah, right, no, there's a delay. Uh, I got shot at, yeah, almost arrested, calls, nearly so passed out with fear, took hundreds of photos, like and that. managed to sell two for 50 bucks. Uh, Never published. Definitely a mistake. Oh. O'Reilly, you're sleeping with me tonight, man. You can be the big spoon. Uh, Come on, let's uh, go. Uh, oh, we're flying out from the airport tomorrow at dawn. Uh, O'Reilly says he heard about a situation in Mogadishu. <laughs> See you around, Dan. Good to meet you, Dan. I could be your bag carrier. Sorry. No tourists allowed. Grease a little Pam. Stack our odds, there'll be a return flight. Holy shit. What you got there, Dan? Oh, uh, the Saurus. Hey, Scott. Hey, Dan. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Steve O'Reilly. Yeah, Dan. The Somalis were nomads in a country that has no water, no soil, hot enough to fry an egg on a camel's arse. Their clans have been fighting since the beginning of time, first with spears, then with Russian guns, and now with guns from the Americans, depending on who was friends with who in Cold War towns. The Somalis weren't fussy so long as the guns kept coming and they could turn them on their ancient enemies. Tough buggers. Survivors, that's what I love about them. It's outrageous. Men in skirts killing each other over clan differences, huh? Barbaric. Add bagpipes on a golf course, Shafi, it's Scotland. Ha! Shut up. Dan, Dan, no. Don't show your camera and don't show fear. You listen to me like I was your father, understand? Yes, Babaji. I said like I was your father. <laughs> Welcome to Somalia. Bloody trouble with the aid businesses, it gives them something to loot. Hi. 
He said, don't show fear. There are limits. These are Ahat Wayne, the farmer clan. These guards are happy to deer, they won't touch him. Chewing off and it'll numb your nose and nothing else. Easy day at the office. Yeah. Yesterday, I tried to get a supply vehicle to a feed centre across town. The driver was shot dead. Don't, he was looted, lock, stock, and bloody feral. Jesus. The clans are holding everyone a ransom. And what's your estimate, Sue? <laughs> Two, three million. They're robbing thousands every day. 
They're all going to die. Belly of the beast. War, famine, a black heart. Once you've seen into the belly of the beast, you can't help coming back for more. How do you mean? Wars are funny like that. I've been five, six now. Each time I come, I swear it'll be the last. But there's always something that forces you deeper further in search of whatever it is you believe would be the truth. An unspeakable act of evil or horror that you can take back to the real world. And say, there it is. I found it. But then you realize there's always something else. And it always brings you back. Two days? Oh, you have no idea. I mean, nobody does. The place, it's, it's in chaos. There's people starving to death, and nobody knows. It's... I'm sorry, I'm still, um, still absorbing it, you know? I'm still just not sure uh, what to do with these things in my head. <laughs> well, there's a civil war there, darling. You just don't want to just go throw yourself into something like that. I was with other journalists. Journalists who are probably a lot more experienced than you. Mum, I'm 21. Okay, some of them... At 28, 29, they all started somewhere. It's still too crazy, Dan. Exactly. And look, you've already been there, you've done it, you've had the adventure. Mm, I'm so glad you're home. Take a shower, I'm gonna feed you. It won't be a real home for much longer, will it? Can you help me with this, please? Open this one. Okay, you're gonna love this. Karibu, habari. Asante. Everyone, this is Abdul, Abdul, this is everybody. Asante sana. Make way for the band, please. Thank you for coming, thank you. Hey. I met him at the Messiah Market yesterday. Okay, I think he brought some friends. And what was he gonna do? He's living out of his car. I couldn't do nothing. He brought how many friends exactly? Yes. Well, I love that charitable side of you, Mike. We need music. He needs a place to play music. And so... Set up right. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, Abdul and the gang!
Kathy, to new beginnings. London. To London. To London. To London. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Beauty. Thank you all so much. Uh, Kathy has always been one for an adventure. Oh, well, Dan's just been on an adventure. Right, Dan? Uh, Mogadishu. Just a little jaunt to the famine. He went with the press corps, actually, the first ones in. I was talking to you, Grandpa. He's so excited about you coming to London. He's going to take you around to see all the schools. He'll help you to choose one. That's actually, that's not really my plan for the moment, Mum. You've changed your mind just like that? How a lot of things have changed. Oh, you want to take a year off? I totally get that. No, 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 I want to take a year on. Or two or three, I don't know. I... A year on doing what? Doing what I've been doing. Okay. Good news is, you don't have to make this decision right now. So. You're not listening to me. Dad. There are other ways to get an education. Yeah, but uh, you can't live your life on safari. Well, it's my life, Mum. I mean, it's my life. And no, tell me, tell me. What could I possibly learn that I'm not learning now? I've walked around places these professors have only read about in geography books, so what? Business? Economic theory? Try and negotiate your way around a souk. Social studies? Give me a break. <laughs> well, you have to consider the cost of missing out. Hey, well, you should have thought about that before you plan to leave us. Dan. Dan, don't go! I'm so sorry. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Is it you can't do it that way. You can't do it that way. What's wrong, Taba? When I was five, a neighbor came by our house. He touched me. I told my grandmother, she was so angry. She yelled at me for the shame of it. I think she was ashamed. And then one day, she took me to a fancy house. People came by and brought me flowers. I thought it was some kind of party. Then they laid me down. I was crying for my mother. They held me. And they cut me down there. There was blood and pain. Burning hot. I still feel it sometimes. Is that possible? It's scarred. I'm stitched up. Totally. No, not totally. Do you think I am some kind of freak? You're not a freak. <laughs> so, well, are there things that 
you know. Feel good. Who cares what I like? I do. <laughs> All right. Zone number one. Dan? Yes, um, you missed a bit. So, why do you want to go to Somalia? I mean, they can sell some photos. No, why do you want to go? It's hard to think about going back to just scratching and doodling on pictures of my friends. And you? Is it decided? I have the chance to go to the Sudan. With people I've been working for, mm -hmm. an NGO. I'll be part of the start of the program up there. Or I go to Cambridge because that's what's expected of me, demanded of me. That's an easy one. I can hear it in your voice. But then I start wondering if school might do more good in the long run. Right, but you have the chance to do something direct. Now, first hand, like I'm doing. Maybe I could make some kind of change that won't change back once we're not around. Right, but how can you possibly be good at something that you're not passionate about? That's crap, that's compromise. I'd be disowned. They're not joking. That's bullshit. <laughs> Not everyone is like you. You see, I can't send a staffer out on full pay for more than a few days. I need uh, all the help I can get in the office. All hands on deck. But you! I need a beach bum! A backpacker like you, lad. You're young and hungry and won't bleat about working too hard. You're a man who actually likes the shitholes of Africa. <laughs> Nobody'd miss you, except perhaps your mama. I'm going to give you a chance. 50 bucks every shot we run. Just run everything past a second set of eyes. Make me look good. Warm beer and smelly pussy. Keep feeding the beast. The United States government is set to announce a non-aggressive military operation to establish a secure environment for humanitarian relief to Somalia. The Americans are coming. Well, because of our stories. Bush says they're coming for one reason only. Once the corridors of family relief have been established, we will depart. Operation Restore Hope. Yeah. Yeah. I have given the order to Secretary Cheney Woo! to move a substantial American force into Somalia. The people of Somalia, especially the children of Somalia, need our help. We must give them hope. America must act. Little 
dressed for the weather, aren't you, soldier? Regulation brain bucket. What's your name, soldier? Master Corporal Charles Morazzo. AKA Chuck. Who's the enemy, Corporal Chuck? Hunger, sickness, starvation. What are you gonna do about it, Corporal Chuck? Just here to do my duty, sir. Feed the people. Are you gonna quote them in the paper? Nah, just take the pictures. Long time, long time. Good to see you, man. dead body here. Nice shot. Where's the metaphor? What you need is a living juxtaposition. Someone grieving. I took thousands of shots before I got my first play. Don't worry. It'll happen. Why do you say don't trust the locals? If theirs is a story we're trying to tell. That's not what I meant. Are you going to eat the rest of this? Yeah, but it's what you said. I meant in purely practical terms. Don't get too close. The idea that the press is neutral, is immune somehow, is a thing of the past. Get to one of us as an example, as a hostage even, you get attention. If someone's desperate to be heard, and the Somalis are desperate. So you can't trust them. All of them. Are you listening to me? Okay, look out, look out. That's your head. Yeah, you're all right. Come on, up you get. Come on. 
Hey, do you know where he lives? Where's your home? Does he, uh, does he work with her? He helps them all in the afternoon, after his lesson. Don't you worry. I fear for his safety. I wonder if he will come back or whether he will die. We let him go because he's useful. He can protect us from the other clans. Kale Isa, in that other line, can walk every shot of the camera. Why not bar to sit up and cut? Can we cut it? Oh, benvenuto, giornalista. Parli italiano? Francais? No, Swahili in English. Well, welcome then. I see you have met my family. Yeah, you know your English is very good. Two years studying in Boston, three in Germany. Please, take a seat. Mahat Sanat. Yo, you're welcome. Seftan Balfiri, Abi Wayelu Tay, Bagolu Kuntun Sani Jilta. Ijabi Balbrobay. Sila Ma, Mutagan. Sila Ma, Sila. Magarni Sila Silo. Ha. This is how. Sila Ustak Malay. Kiri Wa Ogol Nahai. Geri wa ogolna ha. Geri wa ogolna ha. Geri wa ogolna ha. Oh, Geri wa ogolna ha. It means I accept death. All Somalians accept death. My uncles all die in Klenho. Father no longer accepts death. He meets with other men from different clans to try for peace. What about you? Geri wa ogol nai. Okay, I got you. You go, John Wayne. You really? Oh. All right. There's a new sheriff in town. Come to clean up these streets. You're the wrong kind of Indian for this movie, Kimasabi. <laughs> I need, I need someone else. Should <laughs> <laughs> we get it? Should we get it? I 
I would like to propose a toast to baby Dan Eldon, who lost his virginity today with his first European play. I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear. Dear Saba, Somalia is a crazy place. Though they call it Operation Restore Hope, it seems not even a superpower can bring it fast enough. These are beautiful, you talented little shit. So help me God. So help me God. What's going on? The new man Clinton has it in for a deed. He's trying to show up old man Bush. I can't believe you could be so stupid. Oh, come on, Duff, this is a great shot. Fuck you, Dan. I'm not jealous. I didn't mean that. I'm just not gonna compliment you on something that could have gotten you killed. Because I don't want to feel responsible. Does this look like a humanitarian mission to you? Shoot, Abdi. I shoot the enemy. Have you ever met a boy from the Dara clan, Abdi? the kids, Chuck. Ambush! Treat a warlord like a statesman, and he will behave like a statesman. Treat him like a warlord, and he will behave as one. I saw Aidid's men shoot at his own people. Who could be that ruthless? He would consider that a small sacrifice. There is a Somali saying which a millipede doesn't limp from a broken leg. Aidid needs his own people to turn against the Americans if he is to remain the man in power. And the only way for him to do that is to draw Americans in, provoke, Force them to do something terrible to prove his propaganda right. And the worst possible thing, the day you must dread, is if it works. If Americans are led to attack innocent Somali people, and then it will be a war of all Somalis against all others. And no one will be safe. How do you see it? The future? I'm an engineer. In all these, I see possibilities. Allahu Akbar. 
Saba the Wonder Girl. Saba the Magnificent. The last sunset before my first new breath. Lakini boss ana wali papua. Santa Sana Ahmed, Santa Sana Yusuf. Hey, is that why you're back? Show me how clever you are. I think that might be proof of the opposite. You look a hundred years older. I know you're angry. I was trying to apologize. You didn't answer my letters. My father doesn't want me with you. And you're still letting him tell you what to do. You're not Somali. You do not understand. Yeah, people can change. Not my father, not my people. If that's what you think, why did you go there? Why not? Why not think that? Because you'll turn your backs and it will swing right back into chaos. They don't want it to end. They don't want a government and the warlords. They make their fortune from the disorder. I'm not planning to turn my back. Saba, there are possibilities. I see them every day. I, I know this kid. He's never even met the enemy. He doesn't hate anybody. Not yet, not, not till somebody teaches him. There's no hope for that kid. Until they do, he is the hope. And what do you think you can do about it? I don't think that an entire race is born cruel. I think survival forces them into it. I think ignorance keeps them from seeing the way out, but starvation, violence, Saba, so many of the people I've met, they've never known it any other way. And somehow if, if if there's anything I can do to open people's eyes, to, to force the subject to the top of the heap, then that's what I'm gonna do. That's the only thing I can think of to do. I'll go back one more time and then we can meet in the bush, you and me. Where to? of everything you've ever published, mm. I have to find it for you. It's tremendous. I can't wait for you to see it. She's something, isn't she? You all right? Yeah. Good. Good. But you first, tell me everything. No, yeah, I'm fine, really. No, it's just so crazy over there. Well, we miss you. Can't you stay longer, just a little longer? I know, yeah. I know. I'm actually, I'm hoping to be staffed now. The real thing, yeah. I'm getting closer, it's just, uh, yeah, now's not the time. What's going on? What are you, are you writing? Oh, yes, I'm writing. I have a book proposal in, and I mm. think you're gonna go for it. All yeah, right. Well, next time out, I'm sending you a ticket to Nairobi. <laughs> you're gonna plan the house I'll build you when you're old so you can tend your goats and look no. after my ten children? No, mm -hmm. goats! <laughs> 
I am so proud of you. I get really scared, but I'm really proud that you're living the life you love. And I'm sorry that I wasn't there. You know, I think I am. Um, I get it now, Mom. Just why you had to go your own way, I think I... I hated it. <laughs> but, um... I get it. Where do you think I got this gypsy spirit from, anyway? <laughs> I love you, Mum. I love you too, bud. Ta-da! Ah, there it is. This is it. See you in a bit tonight. Okay. So... Do we leave when the job gets tough? Or when the job is well done? Jesus! This is one of the targets! White people dying sells more papers than black people. That's all they care about. No one gives a shit. There's nothing. We're page 20. We may as well not be here. Leave then, if no one gives a shit. That's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? It's obvious, isn't it? Regular Somali folk are getting shot by soldiers. That should be news. And if nobody's listening? That's what I'm saying, duh! We do not throw food. I'm being transferred. What? Where? Bosnia. Who's replacing you? This child is going to give it. Sorry, Dan. Scott, just what? Scott! Dan Elder just wants the facts! Hansi! No one's replacing. I'm it. Staff assignment, baby. Bravo! You all right, Babu? The Pakistanis, I knew some of them. Jesus, what are they doing to the bodies? There's no skin. I'll shoot it, Bo. Go home. No, no, you can't shoot that. Think about it, if that gets out, then he's won. If the world sees that, 
then the U.S. will have to do something to answer it. They will have to attack, which is exactly what I did once. Terror is his weapon. You have to believe that this, this is the end of it. That what we do will turn it around. You have to, but you don't always know. How can you? Because it's not black and white, huh? It, it never is. It's, it's, it's grey. The whole fucking thing is grey. I don't know how these experiences are changing me, but I feel different. These are the things I now know. It is therapeutic to apply a well-toned, beautiful naked body to one's own flesh at least twice a day. dance in Africa. The more music you like, the happier you will be. Really? Connection is the solution to the problem. Thank you so much. This is the difference between exploring and being lost. Get in just now. I'm replacing you. You're going on leave. There's a car waiting to take you to the airstrip. Now? Yep. Guess I'll go pack. Arrivederci, Roma. I'm on leave. Where will you go? On safari with Saba. Saba who? I'm oh, Saba the Wonder Girl. Saba the Magnificent. <laughs> For Kalupo.
Now, what's happening? Another peacekeeping mission. Where's Babu? Anthony. Breakfast with the Pakistanis. Okay, go and get his camera gear. Go on, Anthony. This could be your big chance. Hoss. Hey, Anthony. Where'd you fly in from, Haas? Rwanda. There's a multi-party democracy threatening to break out there. Anybody got a 300? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Babuji, he's setting up your gear. Good boy, Anthony. What could possibly be left? I did. That's who they're after. And this is exactly what he wants. Gonna get you help inside. We'll get you. Oh, right. Jesus, right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Just bring him this way. Right. Inside. Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. We got steps. Okay. Hey. Just right. set him down. Bring him down. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is the silence, man. This god awful emptiness, like I've never experienced before. No, we saw the shelling. I thought they'd never stop. It wasn't just shells, man. There was. There was this guy inside San G. And his arm was shredded. But he was, he was playing dead to save himself. He said that the ground troops came in after the shelling, like a sweep, and they saw anyone shouting, they shot him. What the fuck? He was, saw him maybe 15 go that way, like uh, grandfather's, father's sons. And I got there just as they were clearing out, so I didn't see it go down. It's Krabdeet House is rubble. The Krabdeet, the villa? Yeah. Scott. Come on, let's get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just, You're ready. Wipe his face. No. Yeah, wipe his face. Anthony, get in close to you. You need someone to hold you up? No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Right. Leave the blood, guys. All right? Yeah, we're good. All right, frame you up. <clears throat> right. Okay. The gunship attack was in response to... It's okay, stay with me. The gunship attack was in response to U.S. intelligence that Somali warlord General Aideed was conducting a council of war. But it seems intelligence was misled. Aideed was not present. It was instead a meeting of elders and respected members of the Somali community who were there to discuss peace initiatives. When the U.S. ground forces withdrew, I realized I was in the wrong place. Uh, Somalis came from all directions. And they saw me as European being there, and they set upon me. Come now, Sahafi. Show what America has done now. Come. It's not worth the risk, Shafi. Khalid, please come take pictures. There are many, many dead women and children. You must come. Show what America has done. And show how American, a world nation, make a war against innocent people. Please come. Dan, the driver is waiting for you. Babu? Hey, will you guarantee our safety? Just forget it, Dad. It's fucking dangerous. Yeah, we guarantee. Come on now. Yeah? Come, please. Anthony, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I want to. I'll come too. Come, come. now. Right. Okay. All right, we come. We come. Please, right? please, yeah. now. Get now. Up yeah, now. Come out. Out. Babu, let's go. Come on, guys.
front. Hey, Raya, tell him to get in front. Right, Babaji. If I'm shot, I think it will be with an American bullet, not a Somali one. Seventy, maybe eighty days. We must be quick.
Caucasian male being pursued. Request crowd dispersal tactics. All ground troops accounted for, little bird. Return to base. Returning to base. In Mogadishu today, an enraged crowd attacked journalists following an assault by American Cobra gunships on the home of General Aidid's interior secretary. <laughs> Thank you for coming here to celebrate Dan's life. I think that if Dan were here, he would say that you only have a short time to dance on this earth. And I think he would say, you choose the music. You sing it loudly. You dance it proudly. And the most important thing is that you dance with love. Amy. Now four brothers were doing their best to show the world what was happening in one corner of Africa. We thought that we had a lifetime to tell you, I love you. And I'm proud of you, but we didn't. I love you, Dan.
ke pene ngombe sobo boyonti yo yilo sobo boyonti lake berne uda nyal dey mi joje a Yeah, time. 